Hi, my name is Sneaky from Cloud9, and this is my basic champion guide to Misfortune. So, Misfortune in Solo Queue is pretty strong. Uh, <laughs> it might depend on your ELO, actually, for uh, how easy it is to set up your ultis, because I've had a lot of trouble actually landing uh, disgusting ultis, just because everyone's kind of aware of it. They, they understand that if they stand grouped and don't get out of the ulti, then they're going to get... Uh, destroyed. So <laughs> the lower you are, the more damage your ulti does, basically. But uh, I think she's pretty good. She's a pretty dominant laner and doesn't really have that many issues until mid late game where she can start dying to all the mobility on the enemy team. Besides that, I recommend her for Soul Q. Pretty fun champion at the moment. Misfortune's laning is pretty decent, actually. I think it's at its strongest point ever at the moment because. The way her Q works now is it procs her passive, which means it's going to be doing insane bonus damage if you ever kill a creep with it. Because her new passive obviously just does bonus damage to every new target you hit. And it actually works a little bit... I haven't actually gotten it down the method of using this, but if you hit a target with your love tap, which is your passive, and then you Q a creep behind it, it actually targets them over anything. So if there's like a bunch of weird creeps in the way then you can hit them pretty easily so you can think about that for solo queue uh but or for uh, landing sorry but besides that your whole goal here in landing phase is just shoot the queue through minions as much as possible don't don't constantly spam it on angles that aren't going to hit but always be looking for them and then you can follow up uh your support pretty easily with your huge e range now which is really nice. It has like extra 200 range, I think, from 521. Pretty broken. So for team fighting on Misfortune, it's relatively simple. You kind of have to stay around in the back and then look for ultis. It's gonna be pretty hard if your team doesn't have CC. So you might just wanna try and get as many autos off as possible instead of looking for that ulti and just wait for them to put themselves in the bad spot. But Besides that, just, yeah, you actually do want to switch targets um, because of how much damage your passive is. If you look at the numbers around team fighting phase, it's going to be doing the same damage as your auto attack. So it's basically, it's pretty close to a Lucian double shot, except it does two times the damage of Lucian's double shot since Lucian's does only like 50% or something. So just be on the lookout for hitting different people. So a uh, tip for misfortune I have is whenever you're going to keep people, don't only just look for the Q angle, you also have to look at the low health minions, which you can set up yourself actually. Like, try and get it low enough so the Q will kill it, and then throw your Q, and your Q will be doing insane damage, like near half life status off one Q. So, the runes from Misfortune are the same ones I usually run uh, this patch. I've just been running 12 magic resist, 14% attack speed, 8.5 AD, and 9 armor. There's no real point in trying anything else. Uh, you can run a little bit more mana gen, just for more spammable spells, but for the most part, the defensiveness of uh, the full magic resist is pretty good. So the mass I've been running on every AD carry is 18-12. So basically you just get a bunch of the offensive stats that are relevant to you. So there's the attack speed in the first one, there's the uh, lifesteal second round, there's feast, and then there's just all, all the AD stats, like, they're, they're pretty simple. The only real differences here in ADs is going to be Bounty Hunter versus Oppression. And I think Oppression is just better because Bounty Hunter is unique champions killed rather than uh, just one guy over. So if you kill the bot lane both, you'll do 2% extra damage all the time. But with Oppression, you do 2.5% damage uh, whenever there's, you know, CC'd, which is pretty often. There's gonna be pretty rare that there's not CC in the game. So I'm pretty sure it's better mastery. And then uh, you basically take Fervor, which is the uh, keystone mastery on every AD carry now. There was a time, uh, 522, when uh, Warlord's crit was broken, but they nerfed it so it doesn't affect creeps anymore. You can only crit on, you can only get the effect on champions. So it it's basically just between Deathfire and Fervor, but Deathfire is pretty bad in general for 80 carries. Uh, so, Fervor is pretty obvious here. And then, 
in uh, Cunning, I take Biscuits, I take the uh, Savagery, and then you take Merciless and Dangerous Game. There's not really any choice here. You could take Bandit for the free extra gold, but Dangerous Game is a pretty good mastery. And obviously Savagery over the move speed out of combat is pretty good, helpful early game. That's all for masteries. So the skill under for Misfortune is pretty simple. Uh, you just max Q and then W and then E. They it, you, you used to max E uh, before 522, 523, just because it increased the slow and the W max just increased the mana cost and barely gave you an attack seed. But now the W has tons of attack speed on it. The E scaling is still good, but the W is more valuable at the moment. And then uh, for levels one, level one, you take Q, level two, I would say W, you kind of need the move speed to escape and the extra attack speed if you want to fight. And then three, I take another point in Q and four is when I finally take E. And thus, the only time I ever take E level three is if I still didn't put something in, like I was holding off my point because I didn't want to Q yet. And then there's a fight breaking out that I can't really reach. So then I need to use my E to catch up. But that's a pretty rare one. I would recommend just going two points in Q by three. So item build for Misfortune, it's a little bit up in the air. Uh, I'm still messing around a lot with stuff, but for Misfortune, I th think I found a pretty good one. It's mainly just going to be uh, you essentially just rush Essence Fever and get it as fast as possible. And then the next item you get is Infinity Edge. The reason you go, the reason you go Infinity Edge second is just because it adds extra crit and the extra AD you want. You don't really want the attack speed of Misfortune because of the way her W works. Uh, you just get tons of free attack speed, which attack speed with another attack speed item doesn't really make much sense. Like, yeah, you'll be doing decent damage, but with Infinity Edge, you'll actually start hitting insanely hard with all this attack speed and crit you have. So, Infinity Edge second's really good. Uh, third item is usually going to be Lord Dominix. Uh, I actually hate Mortal Reminder, so don't don't even buy that. Don't, don't even think about it. I think it's really bad right now. But then, uh, if you don't, if they don't end up having armor or health, which it's very likely they are, but in the case they don't, you can go for either. It's kind of up in the air. It's mainly up to you. Uh, if you've played around with the items and you know which ones you like, you can go uh, Shiv, Cannon, one, one of those. I, I wouldn't really recommend PD. That sounds kind of awkward. And then the other option is Bloodthirster or Mercurial. Those are fine as well. Just tons of ad just to add to your ability damage and you know your fat attack speed from your w so it's it's a little bit up in the air but most of the time it's going to be lord dominix and then fourth item it's going to be whichever one of those you didn't get already or maybe a defensive item if you think you need it which doesn't really happen that often for me i'm almost always building full damage items so yeah uh past that you'll want to get tier two boots Somewhat later in the game, probably after your second item, Berserker Greaves are a bit harder to buy uh, now since it costs 800 gold, which is a lot, even though it gives like, I think it gives 5% more attack speed. It's just they're way more expensive and don't really do anything extra compared to the 521. So I'd hold off until second item to buy that. Thank you for watching. Make sure to check out the rest of the guides here at lawclass.com.